Okay, so I know some of you may have been wondering what happened to my face in my last video. And so I told you if you clicked on the link, I would tell you what the deal was. And some of you may just be watching just because. So, um, but it boils down to <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'm getting ready for work. I decided I was going to shampoo my hair because my scalp was kind of itching. So I went ahead and shampooed, put my conditioner on, and left it on there for three to five minutes for optimum conditioning so my hair could look fabulous. And let's be real. It does. So I went ahead and went through that process, got out of the shower after, you know, everything was done with, and um, was like, you know, let me go ahead and get my, my daughter up, get her ready for school, all that. So I've got her clothes picked out and telling her to get ready. Um, my wife is, is uh, in bed and, you know, still asleep. And so um, my mom, she had gotten up and was still trying to, like, get my daughter ready, things of that nature. And so I was like, you know what? I'm good to go. Uh, Mom's helping her get ready. I'm going to go ahead and um, go and get my blow dryer so I can finish out my hair and all that and be ready for work and enough time to go to work and be there on time. So I went ahead. I go out into my flex room. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, basically my flex room or a flex room here in Texas is like where you've had an extra space. It's not really technically a bedroom. And in my instance, it's like where a garage space was converted into an extra room. So it's not a bedroom. There's no closet, but it's a flex room. Anyway, so I go out in there and there's like always that little step down in the garage. And, um, you know, so I went ahead and went out there. I got my blow dryer and my diffuser from when I've got my salon stuff out there. And I go walking back into the house and like this, this is the step. Okay. My arm right here. And this is my foot. So if this is my foot, you know, like that crease on your toes, you know, the one right there where it's like, here's the crease of your toes and that's where they bend at. So usually they would kind of fall to where it's like, okay, most of the ball portion of your foot is on the step or, you know, you're all the way on the step. Well, in my instance, my foot ended up hitting the step like this here. So it bent my toes backwards. I ended up falling and I fell into a corner shelf. So I'm like, Ugh! and I end up hitting the floor and now I'm down here on the floor with my face covered and I feel a droplet in my hands. And I'm like, crap, that's not snot. So now I'm like getting up, I'm going to the bathroom and surprisingly I didn't cry or anything, which you would think being hit right there that it would be a bit painful. But I mean, it was painful, but not enough to make me cry, which I'm surprised about because let's be real. I'm not one of those dudes who's like, man, I don't cry. No, fool, I will cry in a heartbeat. Don't play. So I went ahead and went to get a wash rag and went in the restroom and I'm busy trying to wash my face and all that. My daughter comes in. She's like, Dad, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm washing my face. And uh, my mom's like, why are you washing your face? Just got out of the shower. And I was like, I fell, cut my forehead open, or my nose basically open. And so, you know, by this time I had kind of pushed the skin back up. And um, so my daughter is now like, well, what'd you, where'd you hit your head at? And I was like, in the flex room. She's like, where? And I was like, in the flex room. Don't worry about it. I don't want you going out there. And she's like, yeah, but where? in the flex room and I was like stop worrying about do you see my face why are you worried about the flex room worry about my face you know so she ends up asking me and so she's like okay so dad mind you she's three what color is your wound and I was like Zan, I don't have time for this. Like, I'm not going to go through this whole school situation with you. But then I thought about it and I was like, I am going to go through this whole school situation. So I was like, it's red and, and purple. And she was like, oh, okay. And so like, she's steady trying to ask me questions. My mom was like, you know what, go eat your breakfast. And so um, I was just going to go ahead and get a Band-Aid and put it across there, go on to work, call it a day, you know. And um, I get the box of Band-Aids, and it's like nothing but neon colors. So I've got like neon orange, neon blue, neon pink and purple, and neon green to select from. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to school to teach these high schoolers. Like, if I could just get a flesh tone, like I'm light enough for the flesh tone ones to blend pretty well without it being overly noticeable. But I cannot walk around with a bright neon orange or pink on my nose and think no one's going to notice. So I end up um, looking and my mom is like, hold on. So she pulls like this whole box of band-aids out of her purse or something. And she's like, oh, okay. Cause she's got like everything in there. Like, oh, you need a toilet seat? Sure. I got an extra. That's no problem. So she goes ahead, pulls this whole box of band-aids up out of her purse. And she's like, oh, I've got larges. I have mediums. I oh no, that one's for fingers. I have smalls. So she gets close to my face to put the band-aid on there. And all of a sudden she's like, 
do you think that we should tell Allison, which is my wife, that you fail? And in the back of my head, I'm like, don't tell her because she's going to be tripping. She's going to make me go to the hospital. I'm not in the mood for that. I'll just slap this bandaid on and go to work. But I'm also thinking if we don't tell Allison, she is really going to be tripping. She's going to be upset. So here's what I did. I told my mom, I was like, I mean, you could tell her if you want. Like, you know, and I was just thinking like that way I can go ahead, go on to work. Mom will be like, oh, okay, it's no big deal. And then when my wife starts tripping, I'm like, what? I told mom to tell you. What you mean she didn't tell you? I can't believe that. That's crazy. I still would have been in trouble. <laughs> I thought it was worth a shot. But at any rate, my mama was like, I know better than that. So she went ahead and told my wife. My wife gets up out of bed. And of course, she comes barging across. Now, by this time, I'm hot. I feel nauseated. My face is bleeding, you know. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to go ahead and get down on the floor because I'm hot. I need to get somewhere where I can cool down. If I pass out or something, I'm not going to do more damage. So I went ahead. I get down on the floor because it's tile and I'm up against the tub. So I'm like, it'll help cool me down, all that. I'm trying to fan like this. My mom is back over here by now. And so she sees I'm fanning because I'm hot. She pulls out like, you know those Asian style fans that you can just like flip open like this here? She pulls out one of those out of her purse because like I said she's got like everything up in there so she pulls it out she's like yeah and it's got like Jesus and the disciples on there <laughs> at the last supper so I'm just like are you serious right now like you just pulled out this Jesus fan from Asia I, do Asians in the, well not Asians does Asia as a whole that's, that's like Buddhism or something. I don't know. Somebody educate me in the comments below. I don't mean to be offensive, but I am. I apologize. Um, so she goes ahead, pulls out the fan, and hands that to me. And so now here I am like, oh, oh Lord. Oh, it's so hot up in here. And of course, I'm sure I'm like, this could be on any comedy special because I'm sure I'm so over the top right now. So she goes ahead and hands me that. My wife comes barging over here and she's like, Lynn, you can't just ignore this. You got to go to the hospital. You've broken your nose twice before. You can't deal with this. What if this and that? People have broken their hips before and not even known about it. My wife is in the medical field. So of course, I'm like, great. Now I got to go to the hospital. And so I was like, well, you know, whatever the deal is, I need y'all to get up out this bathroom because I have diarrhea. I got to poop. And so, apparently, from what my wife tells me, it was like a, a fight or flight type response, but I was like super chill about it. So she was like, I don't understand because you don't rush for nobody. So I end up going ahead and uh, putting him out the bathroom so I can do my business. And then when I finished, I was like, let me wash my hands and all that. And I was like, I cannot go. I've got my undershirt on. So my mom brings in my shirt. She'd already finished ironing because she knows me so well. And so she brings in my shirt and I put it on and I was like, okay. And so I was like, I need a necktie. Like I could be seen in public. Uh, Y'all can't have me out here without a necktie. Like I'm known for my ties. So my mom's like, well, which tie do you want? And I was like, go and get me the Sterling Scott one with the mint green and the forest green on it. And you know, just, just for my quick shameless plug, if you haven't seen the Sterling Scott neckties, you should check them out. And if you decide that you like them, you can go to www.sterlingscott.com dash scott.com and enter in the discount code who sees this in all caps and you will save 33 percent on your purchase side note okay so i went ahead and uh, had her give me that she brings it to me and i'm like in their time my tie and all that i did not get blood on my tie because i'm a pro like that so my wife is like i'm sure she's irritated i was gonna finish my hair but i just thought she would snap on me for that so i went ahead and just let the hair be which is so against the darkest standard, but you know, that's, I understand, that's, yes, I am that vain, but I'm a cosmetologist, like, let's be real. So my wife is like, okay, you know, we gotta go to the hospital, blah, blah. So we get to the emergency room, and uh, mind you, I have to be at work in like less than an hour. So we get there, and we go up to the front desk of the emergency room, and the lady's like, hi, can I help you? Did you need to check into the emergency room? And I was like, yeah, my face is bleeding. <laughs> So, yeah, and she was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, this desk is closed. Uh, you can't check in here. You're going to have to go to the one down there. And so I'm thinking, like, it's going to be this desk way down the hallway. There's, like, a wall that's, like, this thick in between where I'm standing and the next desk over, so I can't really see around the wall. It's a pretty good-sized wall. So I'm like, okay. All right. And she's like, oh, sorry, the sign failed. Okay. So I'm like, okay, what, what's going on here? All right. That's kind of rude. Um, but 
whatever, I need someone to fix this so I can go to work. Um, so she goes ahead and tells me, you know, you're going to have to go down to the desk down here. And so I walk around the wall. When I tell you, like, the wall's like this big and the desk is on the other side. Why was the same woman in the rolling chair and she goes, can I help you? When I tell you, I thought Ashton Kutcher was going to come out and be like, you've been punked. Like, I was like, are you serious? This heifer, I, forgive me for those who get offended at that word, but this heifer done slid three feet from this desk to this one and act like she could not check me in because the emergency room desk was closed. Have y'all seen Monsters, Inc.? Like, it reminds me of the lady off of Monsters, Inc. It's like, Mike Wazowski. Like, that's what it reminded me of to deal with this woman. <laughs> I was just like, I just need you to just get me back here. If I gotta sit and wait, whatever, I need to know, like, do I need to call into work? What's the deal, you know? And so after that, they get me back to the back and like I get back there and they got me back like straight away. There was literally no one there. So I get there and they got me in and out maybe 25 minutes tops. I've never had an emergency room experience like this. So I get back there and like the doctor's like, does your wife beat you? And I'm like, she's sitting right here. Like if she beats me, I'm probably not going to be like, yes, yes, she does. I'm probably going to be like, no. I mean, like, I guess you would kind of tell anyway, but at any rate, they asked me if she beats me. I'm telling no. And next thing you know, they're like, you know what? They would be the perfect wound for you to have it glued together rather than stitched. And so they went ahead and opened it up and cleaned all in there, which surprisingly, I barely even felt. It was quite nice, actually. Um, and got me glued up. I was able to make it to work on time. That's what I'm talking about. And, um... I mean, the rest of my day went pretty well. So for those of you who are wondering my last video, what happened to my face, now you know. Sorry it took so long to tell you, but it was a whole story and rigmarole. But in short, it's glued back together and it's doing okay. I'm not allowed to do anything to it. I'm not supposed to wear my glasses and it's all like icky and seepy, but it could be worse. I could have broken it again and I didn't. So can't complain about that. At any rate, as always, thanks for watching. And for those of you who are wondering, I'm wearing the Vidalia knot today. I can't even tell where my fingers are going. <laughs> I'm wearing the Vidalia knot today. And, oh, okay, yes, I am. Um, if you wanted to find out how to tie that, you can click the link right here and uh, be able to check out that video. So until next time, you guys, take care, and I will see you later. God bless. You're fancy now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>